Good morning, Dan. It's Wednesday, August 13th. If you could have the starring role in one film already made, which movie would you pick? I would want to play J.M. Barry in Finding Neverland. I love that movie. I don't think there's any way that I could ever compare to uh, Johnny Depp's performance in that. It's brilliant. If I could star in a movie, why not one that's already fantastic? I have to admit, like, I don't usually get emotional at films. I cried every single time that I've seen it, but it's a little embarrassing that I'm saying that all over the internet. What day is today? Mm. So I'm trying to finish up my program, and part of that has been uh, having to actually do the paperwork side of it. What I agreed to in my contract was that I would turn in my lesson plans. Uh, and I was having a conversation over the internet with one of my friends who said, What plans? Okay, first things first. I need to make this very clear. I have plans. I know what I'm going to do, and I know the steps that I'm going to put them in, but I don't always get them written out officially. You got five parts. You got your hook, introduction, activity, debrief, observation. I'll give you a little bit more detail since you ask so politely. The hook simply is what gets your attention. It's the hook. It's what's going to draw you in. It can be as simple as, uh, you know, making the front of the classroom explode and then asking your students uh, if that got their attention. It's a bad idea. I don't want you to make anything explode. Introduction. The introduction to your game is usually the rules. It's kind of like the beginning, middle, end of a story. The beginning is the introduction, who are we, where are we, and sort of what is happening around us. Kind of boring, but it's needed. Because if you skip over the rules, someone's going to get confused, someone's going to get angry, and I'm going to end up crying. Someone's going to end up crying. Alright, so this is actually the best part of any kind of lesson, which is the activity. And for some stuff, it's really boring. Most of the stuff I'm writing up right now has to do with technical theater, so a lot of times activities are like how to use power saws. So it has a lot to do with writing up the step-by-step -step process in which I show people, like, well, you lay out this piece and you cut this thing and you don't cut off your fingers. So a lot of the times your activity is just that. You list what the thing is that people are going to do and you have them do it. You've already explained the rules in the introduction, so now it's just go and do it and fun times. Debrief. Debrief is the most important part of a lesson. It wraps everything up for you. It usually starts with a question. Questions are very key. Questions are important. Questions are what teach lessons. So you ask the question, whatever that question might be, and it's usually a uh, very open-ended, like, what I learned was, what I felt was. So then what you want to do is you want to take the answers that they're giving you, and you want to sort of build on those to keep the conversation going and keep the students in a learning environment. So that now that they are actually having an open forum discussion, and they are making discoveries. It's not you telling them what to do. It's them making discoveries on their own. And all of those discoveries that the kids are making should lead to this big aha moment. And now they've actually learned something, a life skill that they can take with them. Or sometimes it's just a fun game. Observation. All right, during this entire lesson, while I've actually been leading it and teaching it and getting stuff done, I've also been trying to make mental notes, anecdotal observations, stuff that I can write down later, sort of like a, a little short narrative story. Sometimes it's just one sentence about the day, or sometimes it's like, like, oh, wow, I did this activity, but I totally blew the middle of it. Never do that again. So anecdotal observation is a very important step. You get your hook, your attention grabber, your introduction to the rules, the activity, what you're actually doing. You get your debrief, which is led by questions, and then you have your observations that you write down and you can keep for next time. So anyway, I've been sitting down in front of my computer for the God knows how many days in a row now trying to write up the lessons that I actually taught this summer. It feels like a lot of days. So I know that this had pretty much absolutely nothing to do with Finding Neverland, except for the fact that instead of writing up my lesson plans the way that I should be doing right now, I think I'm going to go watch that movie.